for the first time ever, a title has changed hands due to disqualification. One of the things that um, I'll mention, but this is uh, throw it back a couple years to Anthony Smith when he fought John Jones. This is something that almost happened, but not quite. But that's a point I want to touch on um, in, in a couple minutes here. But Aljamain Sterling is your new bantamweight champion of the world. He is one for one in his title fights. And do the the knee that Piotr Jan landed on Aljamain Sterling was vicious. Yeah, I I don't really have much to say about the fight besides the fact that that was just I think the most blatantly blatantly illegal strike I've seen right. in my viewer viewership of the UFC. Yes, I've been I've been watching religiously since probably like 2015, 2016, but I've been kind of paying attention since like 08. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've seen like the Hendo shots. I've seen some, (laughs) I've seen some crazy unnecessary strikes. Uh, We've seen some Silva versus Bisping comes to mind as well. Yes. Um, Even the Eddie Alvarez and Dustin Poirier fight Mm. the first one, but this one, I mean, my goodness, you could, you can, uh, when, when you play the audio back, you can hear the the referee actually tells him like, Hey, he's downed. Mm Mm-hmm. He should have known everything. I mean, just use your common sense. Like when you're in that position, I don't understand. It's kind of like when a, when uh, when people hold on a kickoff in football, it just mm-hmm. drives me absolutely insane. Because oh. I'm like, why are, why are you even putting yourself in that situation when yeah. you just when you know that's the only thing that can go wrong for you basically on this basically. Play? And that's the legit only thing he could have gone that could have gone wrong for him right there. He's in such a dominant position. He's ragdolling Aljo for like the past one and a half rounds. You know, going into that round, I think that was what round four that happened in uh, round, round three. three. Yeah, but still, it was the tide was turning. You could tell, yes. like Aljo was getting, he was getting murked, and I mean, he got dropped in the first. The second round, the tide started to turn a little bit. You could. Sorry, tell you're me. right, Blake. Round four, round four. Okay, correct. so it was round yeah. four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it that strike was just so freaking gnarly. It, it disgusted me. Mm. I know, dude, probably didn't have the most ill intentions throwing it. But well, his corner did say, well, uh, apparently what what Habib ended up saying is because he was in the the area during that yeah. fight and his imperial Jan's, of course, Russian, his corner speaking Russian, Khabib speaks Russian. So he understood them. Apparently they said to throw the knee. Yeah, well, I mean, I that's he say she say crap. I don't really take that's that. some really if until we have confirmed subtitle audio. Like, I don't want to be throwing. Rumors but if that's out the thing, like that's that. crazy. That's like a because you, you know fr- what happens, bro. Well, a you know, day that's later some... something comes out and we look stupid because we're talking about it's Hamza retiring that, but... and he doesn't retire. Uh, so, so. Right. But assuming that's true, though, man, that's like a, you remember the original Karate Kid when the when the new coach just goes and him. <laughs> that's yeah. what Piotr Jan did, dude. Just straight up no, teed I, off on Aljo. Yeah, it, and, I'm, and I'm not saying he's I'm all I'm saying is he's not a bad guy. Aljo is not a bad guy. Like no one in this situation is a bad guy. I think I I just think it needs to be ran back and it, you know, Aljo is probably one of the luckiest human beings on earth. Like, let's just be, let's call a spade yeah. a spade. Dude. Because like, he was he losing is, that fight. He was, he was hands losing down losing that, that fight, fight. For sure. And now like, the, on two of the cards he was losing. So exactly. And on loss. the one card he was winning, he shouldn't have been. Yeah. But also I just want to say, we talked about this when it, ha- when it happened, Blake, uh, in, in our, you know, fourth along group chat. Why are people, why is anyone criticizing Aljamain Sterling in this situation? Why? There is no reason no. to criticize him. That dude, it's not like he was playing it off. That was a heavy knee. That yeah. was a there really, There was a big really difference big... between that knee and the Anthony Smith, you know, the one that hit Anthony difference. Smith. Because you could tell, difference. like, Anthony Smith didn't get freaking destroyed. Aljamain, he, you could tell he got freaking he got rocked. He got he pretty much got knocked out with that knee. He probably he got, got a flash out. KO. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what it looked like to me. And then we have all these guys, you know, making fun of him, criticizing him for taking the belt. What else is he supposed to do? He Aljamain Sterling doesn't make the rules. Dude, the he UFC doubled his paycheck. Rules. He got freaking so much money from. The, I mean, he's gonna get. He's a champion now, now. Probably he's gonna get sponsorships. He's gonna get all that jazz with become with being a champ, and he's gonna get. Uh, pay-per-view points for the next time they fight exactly so and it's not like it, it I mean, dude's winning right it was visible it's not like he just gave up it, it's uh, it's obvious when fighters just kind of well and take, the thing that, take the win that you know i've seen a lot of people online have the same thought and i 
I, I think I said this as well. I think that decision should not even be in Aljamain's hands. It should be completely up to the referee, completely mm-hmm. up to the medical professional that's on the, you know, it was signed to the cage. That's what they did, you know, but it, but it, you shouldn't be giving him a five minute rest period and saying like, Oh, you know, just take your time. Like just, blah, 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 just sit right there. No coaching. Like, no dude, you should be you and the medical guy talking, observing and, 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 you know, asking whatever questions you need to the fighter that's in, that's in, you know, whatever condition. And then you make your decision. It should not be like, let's wait five minutes and see, you know, let's ask him if he's ready to go. Like Mm -hmm. that's, that's just not how it should be. It should be you guys doing your jobs. Let him do his job. His job is to fight. His job isn't to satisfy everyone in the world and and put his life on the line. Mm -hmm. It's just to do, you know, to perform. And if, if, if he's not fit to perform, it's, it shouldn't be his his call to say I am or am not. Like he yeah. some dude threw an illegal strike. It's done blatantly for. illegal strike. It's done for. Like that's it. That's that's all. That's and all I, it is. And I poke is a different story, you know, when it's not intentional, mm-hmm. but or like a nut shot or something like that. But this right here, man, it was knee, you know, point of the knee to the skull, like temple damn near like it was that, heavy that you was heard the shot. shot you heard the shot that yeah. was a bad shot and, and one of the other points I well, well there's a lot of people criticizing aljo like for the, some pictures that came out with him parting with the belt and stuff like that i mean yeah he's champion that's his belt i would party with it too you act like you won't okay. absolutely <laughs> i'm ufc champ dude do do? i got this 10 pound gold strap around my shoulder okay and diamonds and rubies and i'm partying with that how many people can Absolutely. say they're UFC champion yeah i know he it's on the best way possible of course but end of the day the champion of the world of the bantamweight division is aljamain sterling and there is no disputing that fact there's no disputing that fact and so Aljamain, he does not deserve any criticism in this situation. It's a lose-lose for him. Also, Blake, I just want to make the point real quick that this is completely different from the Anthony Smith situation. The Anthony Smith situation, that was a legal knee. But like we, you kind of talked about, it wasn't a heavy – it wasn't it wasn't kill shot. It wasn't kill shot like Piodrion landed. And that was something where Anthony Smith – where we shouldn't diss Aljo for not doing what Anthony Smith did. We should just praise Anthony Smith for what he did because he was up. He lost that fight. Well, 50, he was 45. honest. He was honest yeah. with himself and with, with everyone around. Like with Aljo, was a, like we said, a completely different story. Dude was not yeah. in the right position to be making a decision because he got blasted 